everyone. It's Jessica. And you see some stuff peeking out over here? Someone, I don't even remember who it is, or who it is by now. I don't remember if it was on Facebook, Instagram, in a planner group. I don't know. But someone asked me to film a video of all of my traveler's notebooks. So if you want to know what notebooks I have, what apparently, now that I'm pulling everything out, what brand I love, and um, uh, what sizes I have, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's get the biggest ones out of the way first. This was the very first traveler's notebook that I ever purchased. Um, he needs some love. This is a creme brulee and I do um, I actually just purchased and finally got it in stock So I purchased it quick the um The balm the leather balm from chic sparrow. I actually have it right here and um I am going to not on camera, but I'm gonna buff him out because he really does he's he's like two years old and he's got may, no 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 one year old he's like a year old and he just needs some love anywho this is an a5 size traveler's notebook and it is like i said it's a chic sparrow it is a creme brulee color in the cream or creme brulee see creme brulee is the color creme is the leather so maybe it's just brulee i don't know i always call it creme brulee um, it is a deluxe. Guys, this is the floppiest piece of leather. This notebook right here got me hooked on Traveler's Notebooks. Um, I was going to use it as an art journal. You guys can see that I have some art journal pages in here. I was just playing around with some paints. Um, these are inserts from... I want to say they, they're from Michaels. They're the art, artiste, artist loft. I can't remember. Anyway, um, this is just Tomoe River paper. Anyway, um, no, I know some of you are going to ask this question, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to answer it now. No, I do not use all of these traveler's notebooks at one time. I currently am only using two traveler's notebooks one is a journal and one as a planner and i will tell you which ones those are when we get to them okay this one i was going to use as an art journal this is the one that i flip flop back and forth with uh, the most so he stays out normally on a desk somewhere and um yeah that is that so we're gonna put him we're gonna put him in a pile right here should I back up a little bit so you guys can see? Okay, we'll put him back there. Um, okay, so this one, hold on guys. Okay guys, I'm so sorry. I have my phone on do not disturb, but if my mom calls, it goes through on my computer. Okay, so this uh, is the same leather. It is the creme leather in the color creme brulee. This size is extra wide. You can't get this size anymore. And the funny thing about it is, I actually bought this notebook with a creme brulee um, classic or deluxe or classic, um, I think A6 size. And because they were going out of style, uh, out of uh, production into retirement, I ordered a Black Beauty extra wide and in a6 and the funny thing is i actually sold them all like i didn't i didn't even keep one wait i'm sorry i kept one it wasn't an a6 no i got that separate i'm looking at my collection trying to figure out which one i bought it was two extra wides and two a6 size all classics which i really don't use anymore and uh, two in creme brulee and two in black beauty. And I sold them all. And I actually sold this one to a girl in our Charleston Planner Addicts group. And uh, she, I noticed she hadn't been posting any pictures of it. So I knew she probably wasn't using it. Or at least she wasn't using it and posting it, I guess. 
Well, I had the Dr. Jones B6 Slim size and I know y'all are sick and tired of hearing about it because I've, if you follow me on Instagram, because I've, I have been posting wishy-washy back and forth stuff. I know my friends in Charleston Planner Addicts are sick of hearing about it because I really could not connect with that notebook. So she mentioned that she wanted a B6 Slim, well, a smaller size planner. And I said, well, you know, if you ever want to get rid, because she brought this one to the meetup. I said, if you ever want to get rid of it, don't sell it to anyone else first. Sell it to me because I want it back. Um, if you ever, I mean, it's not that I'm, I'm dying for it, but if you ever want to get rid of it, like I want to have first dibs because I want to get it back. So she messaged me because I listed my B6 Slim Dr. Jones for sale. And she was like, so if you want to trade, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes, I will totally trade with you. So I got this one back. Thanks, Denise. <laughs> Um, this is a classic, of course, it's the extra wide. So, I mean, in reality, it is the same height as an A5, if anyone just wants to know what an extra wide is. Literally just like stitching, maybe a quarter of an inch difference. I want to say that's probably why they kept A5 and got rid of extra wide, um, because there's not that much of a difference. But um, it's just a classic notebook, no pockets, four strands, and this is these are the inserts that I was using at the time, a DIY fish in half size, and I gave it to Denise, and um, she didn't use it either, so like me, um, as a planner. So yeah, this is my extra wide creme brulee. The next size down, let's go by sizes, not leathers, which is gonna seem like I'm going by leathers. Okay, sorry guys, my camera totally died, so I'm just gonna restart this notebook. <laughs> um, this is my beautiful B6 Slim um, Creme Leather from Chic Sparrow, and uh, this is the deluxe, it's the black beauty color in the creme leather. And um, this is a deluxe, not the classic. Um, so Chic Sparrow has classic versions which are just leather and I'm pretty sure you probably could get a riveted pen loop. I don't like riveted pen loops personally. It's just a personal preference. I don't like how my pen fits in them. I don't like how they hang off the notebook. I just don't like it. I'm just not a fan. I do love the deluxe versions. The deluxe, uh, they have the pockets. So uh, anyway, that's why I got this. Um, this is one that I am currently using. This is my um, brain dump uh, ideas notebook. Um, it is my journal, my kind of my miracle morning book. Um, I do some version of the miracle morning or at least try to most mornings and uh, this is a notebook that I use for that. So I have some scribing and stuff. This is just notes. And this is these are dot grid inserts that I made myself. I purchased a dot grid paper uh, insert off of I think Etsy, and I printed it on 32 pound paper. This is the thing that you guys see in my planner. I took it out of my planner and put it in here because I I did uh, up until this month have my journal and my in my planner. But I found that I wasn't really journaling a lot in my planner and I wanted to move to a bigger planner but not as big as an A5. So I decided to order a B6 Slim insert from Paper Penguin Co. And I did, and it come in. Um, but I haven't actually used it yet. I really wanted to finish um, this insert first. So um, because I had already started doing, you guys have seen, I think I did a video or an Instagram post one of um, my uh, art journal journey 
Uh, this is just some art journal pages that I've done. Nothing spectacular because I just started uh, with this. But anyways, just thought that I would show you guys. I'm going to start going back and actually journaling in here um, with these pictures. So maybe I'll do that in another video. If you guys really want to see like my art journal notebook flip through, maybe that's something that I'll start. <laughs> um, like a new series. So uh, anyway, this, I was doing a Bible a scripture challenge. Oh wait, no, that's a different notebook. This one is affirmations, what I did for February. This is just for February. I didn't do one for March or April, but I was reading and listening to the Miracle Morning and um, decided to make a vision board. And this was in February. Um, so this is the February one. But I wanted to kind of start doing these every month. I just didn't get to it in February or March. And then I wrote out the affirmations from um, Miracle Morning and put those in here. So I'll probably do one for May. Do another vision board, kind of like this one. Um, these were all free images off of Pinterest. Um, I did go back to the original person and um, got the images from them. And if I didn't, um, if these, it's most of these are, I'll double check and make sure. And if they're not, I'll give them credit or go purchase it. Um, I actually just watched a video today from, I think it's um, from the, the Planner Society from Christy. And uh, she had this whole video on um, how not everything on Pinterest is free. And even using an image for personal use um, is still stealing someone's artwork. So I'm going to go back and double check that. And if I did not, if they were not free... I'm pretty positive they all were because I, I do remember going back to the original site. But anyway, I'm going to go back and make sure. And then these, this insert is just for like my prayers and meditations and such. That's kind of personal. So I don't want to show it on camera, but you get the idea. So that's the back secretarial pocket. I like that the front has pockets. I stick on... Um, these are some journal cards that I'm going to journal. This one says um, coffee. I don't have a problem with it. I have a problem without it. And then on the back, I have a picture of um, that I printed out on sticker paper of all of us girls that normally attend our mall meetup at Northwoods Mall. And... This one is of the meetup, quarterly meetup that we had in our local Charleston planner group and the giveaway that I gave away in the swag bag. And I think these other two, I don't have anything on, but these I purchased from Coco Daisy. And these um, dashboards, I printed out digital scrapbook paper that I purchased off of Etsy and laminated it. And I kind of laminated two pieces with a kind of like a gap in the middle so it would wrap around the insert. At first, you'll notice there's a little step here. At first, I had them all tabbed, but I didn't do my measurements right. So my tabs were sticking way out and I couldn't stand it. So I'm going to have to make some more because I really do like the idea of the tabs. Okay, so this is my only B6 Slim, which makes me sad. I'm going to have to buy some more. Okay, now. Now, once I went from A5 to extra wide, I kind of got a gist that that was way too big for me. So then I jumped, or actually dove headfirst into personal planners. So the rest of these notebooks... Well, all except for two that I have left that are not, um, well, one is just the smallest size that I have, and then another is a fabric one. Well, you know, I'll, I'll put that one in now because it's closer to these size. 
Um, this is a fabric dory. I really like it. I got it from Planner V. Um, that's Planner V-I-E. I'll link her down below. Um, I don't know that she uh, is open right now. I know she does uh, do this as like a side job. Um, but it has two elastics. This is the wide size. So it's about the same size almost as the extra wide. You'll see it's just a tiny bit short, um, more narrow, just like a tiny, tiny bit, and bigger than a B6 Slim. So the B6 Slim is a narrow size, just an inch shorter, and this is the wide. Um, I bought this from her um, shop, and she did a really good job for you know it being a fabric joy i really do like it um it has a sewn in pin loop no pockets but somewhere around here i did get the um the insert wallet insert that i use to put like stickers and stuff in um but i haven't yet i mean i don't know i know where it is but i didn't dig it out for this video because this was all about the planners Okay, so I got that one. Now, the rest of these, except for one, they're all personal size. So, I'm not going to spend too much time on them. Just going to kind of show them to you, tell you what they are. This is a uh, Mr. Darcy Chic Sparrow Personal Deluxe. It is in the ink, I believe is the color. It's the black one. And you'll notice there's some texture. You can see it hitting the light is wrinkled and just textured. I did not like the Mr. Darcy leather in the black at first. So after I quit using it, I rolled it because I used this for uh, the month of December and I rolled it, just literally just rolled it. I don't know why I was trying to hold that up to the camera, but I just, did this and it softens up the leather and it gives it this nice wrinkled texture i like it i haven't used it since i rolled it but i kind of like it so this is a black personal size mr darcy um yeah the next one you know these are gonna get this stack is gonna get high so i'm gonna stack them like this okay the next one that I have is the cream, the creme leather. So it's the same leather as the A5 and the extra wide. This is in personal size and it's a deluxe. And I really liked how this gold uh, charm says mind over matter. I got that from Hobby Lobby. Um, anyway, I really like this leather. I like how it feels. This, uh, even though it's the same leather, is not the same texture as the other, so I want to treat it just to see if it'll get a little more soft and a little more flexible. But it is a deluxe, so it has the four strands, the pen loop, the secretarial pocket, and the other um, card pockets as well. So it's just a really pretty light brown color. Um, from this one... Let's do this one. This, um, a friend of mine, this is a sidekick um, in the camel color. And a friend of mine got this in the second chance sale that they had. And she did not like it. She doesn't like the leather. She doesn't like the, I don't think she likes the color. Uh, she doesn't like this sidekick, like in general. This just isn't one that she likes. So I personally have been had it, I had my eye on this notebook, but that hundred, I mean, look at this, that leather is glove leather. So it is just so buttery soft and it feels amazing. But the price point for a notebook, I didn't know if I would like it or not was just too much for me. You know what I mean? I didn't want to spend... 130 I think it is dollars on a notebook that I didn't know if I would like 
So when she got hers in and she didn't like it, she asked me if I wanted it. And of course, I jumped all over it. This is the only reason that it's a second chance. Right there, there is a hole and there's some spots right there. Nothing that natural wear and tear won't happen to a notebook. So um, I bought it. It's got pockets here. This is that glove leather. So I mean, look at that. It's just, oh, I love these. Um, I like this notebook and it's got kind of like a reinforced spine and it buckles because it's so soft. Oh. Um, it does have the big pocket here and it has the zipper pocket on the outside. So I'll show you. I mean, it's, it's a decent size pocket, you know, on the outside. And then the regular, I do like that it has card pockets on both sides. Um, and it has the elast four elastics on the inside and the pin loop, which is super soft too. So, I like that one. Okay, now we're going to jump into a completely different type of leather. This, all of these are still Foxy, I mean, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't say this was Foxy Fix. If I did, I'm so sorry. This one is a Chic Sparrow. I mean, you can clearly see Chic Sparrow. I don't know why. I think I said Foxy Fix. Everything I have so shown you so far has been Chic Sparrow. The next four, five, six, six notebooks are Chic Sparrow. So I purchased all of these myself, but these four notebooks, they're all the Pemberley leathers that um, Jen has come out with so far. This is the purple which is the Abergine Pemberley. It is pretty much the Mr. Darcy Violet leather, just the texture that I want out of a Darcy. Um, it's really flexible and uh, really forgiving as far as like scratches and stuff. So I really, really, really love this leather. This is my favorite. Uh, this is the one that I'm gonna be using. Oh, come on. This is the one that I'm going to be using for the month of May. It's really pretty. Oh, I didn't show you the inside. Um, same setup. It's a deluxe. This one did get used a lot. This was my very first personal size. So I used this thing for like two or three months. Um, it's beautiful. So this is the Abergine. And, oh, I'm keeping them open because I'm stacking them. This is the one that I used not too long ago. It's been in a couple of videos. This is the English Rose. Beautiful. It's, I just love this notebook. It does have a little spot here from where I set it in water. What was that? I think that was my dog. Sorry. Scared me. Um, and it's got an ink spot. I really don't care. Planners are planners and they're going to get dirty. And uh, I'm just glad that I got this one because it really is. Abergine is my all-time favorite and this one is like a close second. This is the Castle Rock. Now, this did not come with hot pink elastics. Uh, this came with black stitching and black elastics throughout. I just changed the elastics out because I used this in the month of January and um, it matched the January Coco Daisy kit. So, um, I really like that you can switch out the elastics, but anyhow, it's normally black. And this, I have no idea how to say the color of this. I think it's Tenerife C, but um, this is the really pretty teal one. I actually just bought this one off of a buy sell trade because I didn't want just any Tenerife C. I wanted like a dark, really textured one like my Abergine. Uh, my Castle Rock, which is the gray one, and the Pember the English Rose Pemberley, they were both pretty smooth. I wanted a super textured one, and I saw this one on a buy sell trade and I don't know if you can tell, but it is super, super pebbly. 
and it was so pretty. So I snatched that one. And from here, uh, this is my my newest uh, sheet sparrow, and uh, you probably saw this one in my um, April flip through video, I think, or it's coming. Um, I don't know which video will go up first, but this is the brand new Mina notebook, and this is in the Allie Brown Joy. Oh snap, I said it again the correct way. Normally I say Allie Joy Brown. So uh, this is the Allie Brown Joy and it's the Mina. And I believe this is the All American Leather or the American Dream Leather. But it, either way, whatever leather this is, the color is absolutely stunning. And it takes marks like a champ and it is so chunky but um it is a personal size and it has the same like flap type pockets on the inside on both sides and then it has this flap here so pretty cool and this is my the one that i'm currently using right now so i'm just going to set that one over here and then this is my last chic sparrow holy moly one two three four five six seven wait four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah i have a problem I'm, i have a real problem this is a dark chocolate it is the third color and last color of the creme leathers from Chic Sparrow. This was my first small planner, my second like traveler's notebook. The first one was that really big A5 and then this one. It's a classic and it is the A6 size. Now this one has been conditioned with the leather balm and I don't know, I think it made it so, so much more beautiful. Um, it was kind of like ashy a little bit before, but this, it is so more flex, so much more flexible and it's just, I just want to play with it. It's so pretty and just a beautiful piece of leather. So I'm really glad that I didn't sell this one and I kept it. So um, this is the A6. And actually like laying it out and looking at it, it's not that much different. It's actually a little wider, but a little shorter than a personal. So anyway, that was extra information. Okay, let's move on to, we've done all the Chic Sparrows because I am a leather girl. We did my Planner V, the one fabric one that I have. Um, the rest of these are from Foxy Fix. So this is a Foxy Fix number four, which is a personal size. And it is the moccasin leather and the color is sandstone. And I really like the pockets that are on here. Um, they have the card pocket here and here, but then I like how the round is rounded. I don't know why it makes such a difference, but I really like this. Their secretarial pocket, I also really like because it sits a little higher. Um, than a chic sparrow but i mean hey you can tell i'm a chic sparrow girl okay there is enough love to go around the planner community i don't i don't feel like um i don't know if you're watching this if you know anything about uh any kind of oh, i don't want to say drama but some people feel like they have to pick a side. Either they're a She Sparrow Traveler's Notebook girl or they are a, a Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebook girl or person, I should say. Not just girl. Men use these too. Um, because of principles from the store. And I'm all for that. You guys have heard me talk about how much I love Goulet pens because of their standards. 
However, there's a whole lot of stuff that Walmart and Walgreens and CVS and oh, I'll just stick with Walmart. There's a lot of stuff that as a company, I don't think Walmart should do. But that's not going to stop me from buying my groceries at Walmart. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I said that to say that don't feel like you can only buy Chic Sparrow. Or if you have Chic Sparrows, you can't have Foxy Fix. Or if you have Foxy Fix, you can't have a Chic Sparrow. Leather is leather. Love for leather is love for leather. Get a notebook. Plan in it. It doesn't matter which what brand it is. It could be Sojourner. I have actually really kind of grown to love their notebooks. I'm not really like a normally a... I like the more tailored uh, pristine look to my notebooks. But some of my girlfriends in the planner group have the Sojourners. And they're beautiful notebooks. So don't feel like you have to pick and choose so let me get off my soapbox and um finish telling you about this i like this card pocket here um they don't do this over at chic sparrow so i didn't know it existed but now that i do i love this you no know, this little card slot here and uh, that's the back i do i do like the pin loops on the chic sparrow but I kind of like the ones on Sh on Foxy Fix just a tiny bit more only because they're sewn with elastic and then wrapped in leather. So there's a tiny bit in the back so they stretch to fit your stretch like your fat pins, but they're still tight for your small pins. Just thought I would throw that out there if you are a pin loop girl like me. So, that is moccasin leather number 4. Uh, compact Foxy Fix. Um, oh, also, I forgot with Foxy Fix, you can pick, pick your colors for everything. So this is, I think, cream elastics and wheat colored stitching. Okay. So this one right here is a number four as well. This is Boss Babe, completely different leather. You can see from the top, it is definitely more structured. It definitely has a spine. This is a reinforced spine. It's a compact, it's not the wide. The wide has six elastics. This one has four. Um, but I do kind of dig this more structured feel. Um, this again has the same pocket set up. Really digging it once I thought I thought on one of the other notebooks I have that this, I forgot I had ordered it on the moccasin. And I thought that it was a mistake. And then I went back and realized that I had just picked the wrong option. And I loved it. And then I went back and found the moccasin and realized that I had done it there too. Um, but anyway, I really like how their pockets are. This is the moonlit color. And it is a number four and it has a rose gold diamond stamped on the side and it has cream stitching and cream elastics. So we'll continue with the Boss Babe leather. This is a Boss Babe in scarlet. It has black elastics and black stitching. No embossing anywhere. This was the this is the only notebook that I have that has embossing on it. And it does have the same uh, pocket configuration. Um, I believe this is the card slots and the, on the left and then the secretarial with the card slot and pin loop on the right. I'm pretty sure that that's the configuration. Um, but this is also that same Boss Babe leather, so it's really kind of stiff, um, more um, structured spine. This is also the compact. It's a really, really, really pretty color. I like this one. It's one of my favorite boxy fixes. Um, okay, just two more to go. 
I know you guys, I'm taking this stuff out of this one. Um, I guess I could show it to you with it in. This is one of my favorite. Actually, this is my favorite Foxy Fix. Um, this is a um, Foxy Fix compact size sugar leather. So this is the sugar leather. It's um, I want to say it's treated to be waterproof or water resistant. You might want to check, double check because I can't remember. Um, but this is a number four size sugar um, leather mochi is the color you can't really see it on camera it doesn't really photograph uh or video very well um, but it is so pretty it's like a light pinkish color with a little bit of lilac undertone it is so pretty and i have the i used it in february but i have this same um pocket configuration here but not here back here I just have the secretarial pocket and this was the one that I had got right after the sandstone so I completely forgot about that card pocket in the in the moccasin and then I guess I ordered it again in the boss babes and I completely completely forgot about it anyway uh, I don't care one way or the other but I would prefer to have that card slot anywho this is the Moccas, ugh, Moki, Sugar Moki. So it's really pretty. I'm going to put that one right there. The last one that I have, um, I'm not gonna really open it up and show you. Well, I can open it and show you, but it's got my credit cards and stuff in it. Foxy Fix was so sweet, and they donated these little tiny baby micros. Oh my god, aren't they cute? And I think, I think this is the wide size. I don't know, but I think it is. Um, but this is the, I think it's a zero. It's the micro, and it is out of the Wanderlust leather. So it's the, the black one, and it's a classic. And... I kind of want to plan in it, but there's no possible way that I could. I want I want to go to pocket size, but there's no way I could go to micro. I really don't think there is. But I do, I picked these up, these, um, these like credit card things. Let me see if I can find one that doesn't have, nope, they all got something on them. Anyway. This, um, I picked these up from Walmart where the men's wallets are to put in here. And I just keep my credit cards in it. So, pretty neat. I just laminated some card stock to make the little tiny baby dashboards. And that's all of my traveler's notebooks, guys. I am going to eventually, maybe not... Um, maybe, maybe it'll be the next one that goes up, film, um, all of my fountain pens. So we'll see how that goes, but I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions about any of these notebooks, I'm going to try my best to link them down below, um, so that you can at least see the link to them. But if there is anything that you have any specific questions about, just shoot me a comment or shoot me an email. Um, and I will gladly get back to you. So I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Thanks.